to the purse bid, we're off. Well, the ruling is in by the WBC, Fight Fanatics. This is Myron Magnus in another segment of Boxing Logics United. Reported from the boxing scene no longer than about an hour and a half ago, Fury White heads to January 11th purse bid. WBC sets an 80-20 split between their potential matchup with Tyson Fury against Dylan White. Wow. As it reads, Tyson Fury and his team were granted the purse split sort for a potential mandatory title defense. Whether or not that fight materializes could come down to the response from the other side. BoxingScene.com has learned that the World Boxing Council has approved a prior request from top rank Fury's co-promoter who called for an 80-20 per split for the mandatory title fight between the lineal and WBC heavyweight champion and current interim titleist Dylan White, the body snatcher. The ruling from the WBC, which was first reported by Chris McKenna of Daily Star of the United Kingdom, where both heavyweights are based, was also accompanied with a purse bid date of January 11, 2022, unless both sides are able to come to an agreement during that time frame. We ordered the fight on Thursday, Mauricio Suleiman, longtime president of the WBC, told BoxingScene.com Thursday, taking time from celebrating his 52nd birthday, excuse me, birthday to confirm the news The consideration for the 80-20 split comes from the purses the fighters have earned in their recent fights. Wow. Manchester's Fury, 31-0, one draw, 22 KOs, 31 years of age, is coming off his second consecutive knockout win over Deontay Wilder, who is 42-2 with one draw, 41 KOs, earning an 11th round stoppage over the former WBC titleist in their trilogy bout this past October 9th at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. The third fight between the pair of familiar rivals was contractually owed to Wilder, who exercised a clause in the contract for their rematch, which was won by Fury via one-sided 7th round stoppage last February at MGM Grand in Las Vegas. A lengthy arbitration process preceded a final ruling in Wilder's favor, which the WBC honored as part of an agreement that delayed plans for White, who is 28 and 2 with 19 KOs, to receive what he believed was a mandatory shot at the title. White was the next face, was next to face the winner. Although an active legal matter between the 34-year-old interim titleist and the sanctioning body delayed plans to formally order the fight. The WBC addressed the latter part during its annual convention this past November in New Mexico, in Mexico City, where the organization's headquarters are based. Carl Moretti, Vice President of Operations for Top Rank, vocally petitioned for an 80-20 split to be assigned to the fight. In line with the drastic paydays earned by the two boxers over the past several fights, the request was in stark contrast to the to the traditional 55-45 split enjoyed between a reigning WBC full titleist and interim belt holder. The WBC bylaws provide room to go as much as 70-30 in favor of the full champion at its discretion with a formal request by any involved party to be reviewed by the Section of Bodies Board of Governors. The matter was tabled at the time as the WBC President Mauricio Suleiman refused to further discuss any fight involving White giving the pending litigation. We cannot discuss any further details whatsoever due to the proceedings, noted Suleiman. The arbitration is still going on. Unfortunately, we're in the process. We simply made the ruling, and that's where we are right now. That's why we can't make any further comments whatsoever. This has been a very frustrating process, but I am happy and hopeful that it will get done. 
Top Rank ultimately saw its wish granted, which could become a deal breaker in a fight where talks have already begun and seemingly collapse. Hall of Fame promoter Top Rank founder Bob Aaron recently claimed in an interview with IFL TV that White was demanding upwards of $10 million to challenge Fury, who would make the second defense of his WBC title and current lineal heavyweight championship reign. Failure to reach a deal within the next two weeks could further leave White on the outside looking in. God damn. A purse-beard hearing for such a fight would undoubtedly generate industry-wide interest. Thought it would take a $50 million bid for White to walk away with a $10 million payday. Recent public claims by Arab suggested that Fury would pursue a non-title fight for the sake of remaining active. Former unified titleist Andy Ruiz, 34-2 with 22 knockouts, and resurgent contender Robert Hellenius, 31 and 3 with 19 KOs were the two most prominent names mentioned. Fury is aiming for his fight, first fight in the United Kingdom since the early stages of his ring return in the summer of 2018 following a 30 plus month ring absence. Las Vegas is also reportedly in the mix for Fury Ruiz fight for Fury Ruiz fight should the fight materialize. Fury has fought in Las Vegas in each of his past four fights and five in a row in the United States with his first bout with Wilder. A 12-round split decision draw taking place in Los Angeles. White was the number one contender in the WBC heavyweight rankings for more than three years from 2017 to 2020. Though never officially named the mandatory challenger, which he should have, the 34-year-old heavyweight from the Brixton section of London by way of Jamaica inched closer to his first major title fight following a 12-round win over Oscar Rivas. Now the WBC Bridgeway titleist to win the WBC interim heavyweight title in July 2019. White lost the belt in his first title defense, suffering a one-punch fifth-round knockout at the hands of Alexander Povetkin last August at Matchroom Boxing Headquarters in Britwood, Essex. White regained the belt in emphatic fashion, battering Povetkin en route to a fourth round knockout in their rematch this past March 27th in Gibraltar. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Well, that's it, guys. One question I do have. Why is the WBC being able to rule on this person split? When I think arbitration, I think of a outside source legal matter. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the courts or something. Not WBC headquarters. But that's all I have, brothers, with this new update with what's going on with Tyson Fury and Dylan White. Thank you for listening. Subscribe. Peace and pugilism.